Hello everyone, welcome back to WebTech Tutorial. In today's video, I'll be guiding you through how you can download Telegram application on your desktop. Watch the video till the end to learn how and subscribe to our channel by hitting the subscribe button and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you'll never miss another update from us. The first thing you'll need to do is go to your web browser. You can open any web browser you want. Now type in download Telegram in the search box and press the enter. From the search results displayed, you can click on the first link that says Telegram Desktop. Now click on the button that says Get Telegram for Windows. After you do that, you'll be able to see that your Telegram application is being downloaded at the bottom left. Wait for it to download and as soon as it does, click open the file. You can minimize this window right now. And you'll be able to see that there is a little box popping out in your display. Select your preferred language from the list and click on the OK button. Now select the destination location for your Telegram application to be in. After you are done, click on the next button. Click on the next button one more time and finally click on the install button and wait for it to install on your device. After it does, click on the finish button and you'll be able to see that the application has been installed and it is opened as well. Now start by clicking on start messaging and enter your phone number and your country code. Click on the next button and follow the instruction to log into your account. That is how you can do it. I hope the tutorial was helpful to you. If you in order to sign up for Telegram without the application, go open your web browser. Once you do that, in the search box, type in web.telegram.org and press the enter. Soon after you do that, you'll be taken to the web version of Telegram. Sign into your account by entering your phone number into the phone number text field. Now, as soon as you're done, tap on the next button at the upper right corner and confirm that your phone number is correct by clicking on OK. An SMS with an activation code will be sent to your phone. Simply enter the code that you received in the text field. After you do that, you'll be logged into your Telegram without the application version on your web. On your desktop, go to your Telegram app and click it open. As soon as it opens, click on Start Messaging. Now, click on Quick Login using QR code. Now you'll need to go open Telegram on your phone. Tap open Telegram on your phone. Now tap on the menu bar located at the top left corner of the screen. Tap on settings from the left hand side menu. Under the settings option, tap on devices. Now you'll see an option to scan QR code. Simply tap on it and then tap on scan QR code. Allow access. Simply point your phone to the desktop and after you do that, your QR code will be scanned. You can see that I've been logged into my Telegram account with just scanning a QR code. You won't even have to enter your phone number or any kind of password to log in. Go to your web browser on your computer first. Tap open your Telegram application and as soon as you reach the home page, select the contact you want to delete the chat history with and then now right click and click on clear history. In the pop-up it asks you that if you are sure you want to delete all messages history with this person, if you also want to delete the text for the other person, click on the box and click on delete. As you can see the chat history has been cleared with just a right click and clicking on clear history. Now, to create poll on Telegram, simply click open Telegram application and after you are in, click on any group on which you want to create a poll. Let me select this one. Now, if you want to create a poll on your desktop, click on the three dots on the top right corner to create a poll and from the menu, click on create poll. Now, in the pop-up, ask any question you want to question. Now, after you enter a question, enter an option to answer the question. For example, yes or no. Just like that, you can keep adding options by clicking on add an option. You can only add up to 10 options. Now, under the settings, if you click on anonymous voting, then people on your group can vote anonymously. If you want multiple answers, then click on it, multiple answers. 
If you enter the quiz mode by clicking on quiz, under the explanation answer the question and users will be able to see this comment after choosing a wrong answer. Now, under the poll option you'll need to select a right answer and after you are done click on create. And to create a full backup from your Telegram account easily, you'll first need to make sure you have an updated Telegram version on your PC. Since the Android does not have this option within the app, let's try backing up Telegram chats on our PC. Simply sign into your Telegram application on your desktop and as soon as you're in, go to the hamburger menu located at the upper left. Now, click on settings from the menu. From the pop-up, select advanced. Under data and storage, you can see export Telegram data. Simply click on it and here are the things that will be exported if you perform this action. Your contact list, your account information and your personal chats and your private group chats. You can even export the bot chats as well. But let me just skip this for now. After you find yourself inside this pop-up, simply click on export and wait for some time. After it is done, click on show my data. This is a document that is backed up, simply click it open. And your data will be exported. You'll be able to view all the chats, contacts and frequent contacts data that has been exported. To send a bold text to one of your contacts on Telegram, click open Telegram application. Select the contact you want to send the bold text to. Now, in the write a message field, type in your text. Type in two asterisk signs at the beginning of the text and close your message with two more, just like that. Send your text message and as you can see that I have successfully sent a bold text message to one of my contacts on Telegram. Let me show you one more time. Send two asterisk sign at the beginning and type in your text. Close it with two more and send the text. That is it. Thank you so much for watching the video till the end. If you found the video helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Feel free to comment down below in the comment box if you have a question or a feedback for us. I'll see you soon with more tutorial episodes again. Goodbye till then.